So here's the progress of the Tiger Moth so far. I got the frame built up, the start of it. So now I'm just adding the uh, the stringers. You can see it's all laser cut, so you just put them in each groove and just uh, glue them in. So this is the forward cockpit. This is the center or the the rear cockpit. I have to put a stringer from there to there to there to this last one. Comes with the, the one sixteenth. What I usually do is just hold it there and bring it down. Like so yeah, just line it up on the top roughly. You can give it a little sand after. Just hold it. And just gonna make a little cut just with the blade. So it's a line. And take it off. And just cut it where the line is. So that should fit pretty good. There's just a little drop of CA on the uh, here. each one. A little bit too much on that one so I'll just move it over to the next one with the... I don't want much. I'm using 6EA uh, or actually it's medium and I um, found it too thick so I just... Uh, it's an older bottle of stuff from Hobby King and I uh, just watered it down with some uh, acetone. It does weaken the glue a little bit, but for this, it's pretty uh, delicate, so the glue should still hold up. All right, today so it's a stick to your fingers. Try not to, so it can be a bit tacky. seconds or so. If you had kicker, I'd speed it up. I don't have any. You just glue it and spray it and set your CA pretty much instantly. So we'll move to the next one. Now we have to, from here, same process. So you line it up. Hold it there. You can see it there, but I'm just doing, making another line. I'm probably just going to do, once I have that one made, I'm just going to cut another one without sizing it because it's pretty much the same. So if we can see that line. You got it right there. I'm just gonna <clears throat> just match it, match it up. Nope. This can use a nail file if you want to square any pieces off, just like so. On the ends. You want to keep your piece, your fuselage when you're doing stuff like this, you can uh, find somewhere and uh, pin it in if you want, or just leave it loose, it's fine. Alright, okay, just our two pieces. And yeah, that's just the shorter one. Do a uh, test fit if you like. Just to size it up. Looks good. What you can do is 
is. I think I might have watered it down just a little bit, or thinned it just a little bit too much. It's not bad. But the hole was fairly big in the CA, so that's half the bat the problem there. Because where it was uh, medium, cut the hole a little bit bigger. Put that one in. Slide it down. It's in there, it uh, tacks in pretty good. For the second one, I'm going to test. Just fit it. That's good. I don't need much glue. Use the messier it's going to be and heavier over. There we go, just hold it in. It is pretty delicate work, but uh, it's pretty fun to put those as a kit so far. I've been, I've been enjoying it. It's been about four hours maybe last night and this is how far I am so <laughs> but now it's my first build so I'm reading through the instructions I would advise to do it anyways for your first build of any plane okay that's the three stringers so the next I need to do the cabine uh, or cabine struts to come up here and I need to run a side stringer so there's the progress so far